Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've been asked a lot of times about the placemat that I use for my coffee cup. Now Glynis, my friend Glynis, made this one for me and I've made these. I'm going to show you how to make them. Now these ones were made out of cotton. I've used cotton yarn for these ones and I've just used normal yarn for these two and look how bright these are. Now I've used little balls of Dolly Mixture DK, odd balls that I've had of the cotton, just any cotton, you can use anything and it takes up hardly any yarn at all. I'm going to use this little odd ball and it's a little odd ball of this and I'll show you just what it's like, how to do it. It's really easy, it's only one, two, three, four rounds. So to do a magic ring, which is the easiest thing to do for doing the centre doilies and things, put the tail end of your yarn down the front of your hand, wrap your yarn around and cross it over at the back, like that. Now go under this one and pull that yarn through, like that. Now get your working yarn and just tighten it in and that gives you a magic ring. Now you can do it the way you would do a slip knot as well. So your slip knot is just the same thing and you pull it, just don't tighten it in. I'll make it a little smaller, I don't need it. As long as I've got enough of a tail to sew in. So there we go. Got my little magic ring. Now I'm going to chain three and that is your first UK treble crochet. One, two, and three. Now that is your first UK treble crochet. Now we need to do another 19 into this ring. We need 20 all together. 20 UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. So yarn over and into the, the middle of your ring. Pull your yarn through. Yarn over. Pull through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So that's us got two, we need 20. That's three. Four. So that's me got my 20. Count them just to check. Now you're going to take your tail end and pull it tight. Just pull it in so you've got this lovely circle. We're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain of three that you started with. So count one, two and three and just slip stitch in. That's round one done. Now round two, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Now we're going to make these little clusters and we should end up with 10 sets of these little clusters. Now I will sew my ends in. <laughs> I haven't sewed my ends in. These are just so quick to make. So into the next stitch, the very next stitch, you're going to do a treble crochet. Now come through these two loops, chain two, one, two into the next stitch and do a treble crochet. Keep it on your hook. Go in and to the next stitch and do another treble crochet. Now come through the three loops and chain two, one, two. So the next two stitches we're going to do the same. So into the next stitch and do a treble crochet but keep the stitch on the hook, yarn over and into the next stitch and do your treble crochet, keep the stitch on the hook, yarn over and come through those three loops, then chain two. And that's, oops, and that's making these little clusters. It's making up, and that's making these little clusters that we have here on the second round. So we've done our chain two, so 
yarn over into the next stitch do your treble crochet but keep it on this, on your hook yarn over into the next stitch so you've got three loops on your hook pull through your three loops and chain two and this is what you have you'll have all these little clusters work your way around your little circle that's one into the next stitch that's two on my hook I've got three loops because the other one belongs to that chain of two yarn over through those three loops and chain two into the next stitch your treble crochet keep it there yarn over into the next stitch yarn over through the three loops and chain two now we're not doing two stitches into the one we're using one stitch in here and one stitch in the next one I'll come closer and show you that so do your chain two so that's your stitches so you're going into the next stitch and build your treble crochet yarn over and into the next stitch so it's not two stitches into the same one you're using both of them we're doing a treble cluster then chain two you should have 10 of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and that one is 10 so I've done my chain 2 and I'm going to slip stitch into the 1, 2, 3 into the 3rd stitch in that chain and that's going to close round 2 and that's what you have so I'm going to slip my way across So when you pull your stitch up it's going to let you go right in to the middle of that space and you won't have a tight area so pull your stitch up a little bit now we're going to chain three one two three our next round are these double clusters these double clusters in between these sets of two we're going to build like a, v, a double V stitch almost into there I'll set that there so that is your first treble crochet so yarn over and do another treble crochet you want to chain two one two and into that same space you're going to do two treble crochets so keep that one on the hook there yarn over and into there again and pull through and that should go a little double cluster in there chain one and move to the next space so we're going in between these clusters here into these chain spaces we're going to build those little double clusters yarn over pull through two loops keep that one on the stitch keep that loop on your hook and do another treble crochet so you've got three loops again pull through chain two and do another one in there another little double cluster got your three loops yarn over and pull through now we're just going to chain one to get over to the next space and you're going to do your little double cluster chain two remember we're doing it into the same space this time and do your two trebles together you've got three loops and through you go chain one don't worry about it going like that it will flatten out as you get around so this is what you've got into each of these spaces we're putting two of those little clusters so we've done a chain one to get over to the next space one treble crochet and two treble crochets 
yarn over and pull through those three loops to chain two and do that double cluster again into the same space and pull through. Now this time you just chain one and move over to the next space. Chain one to get over to the next space. Chain two in the middle and our last cluster to chain one and we're going to join this round into the top of that chain of three. One, two, three. One, two and three. Into that third stitch. Slip stitch through. And that she got round three done. And this is what it's looking like. It's really pretty. I've still got a lot of that yarn left. That's how much i still got left of that little ball. Now we're going to do the last round. That's the fan round. We're going to go back into that. Just take one step back and do a double crochet. Put your hook through. Pull your yarn through and do a double crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a single crochet. So into the middle of these two here, this is where we're going to be putting our fans into the middle. You're going to put six UK treble crochets. So yarn over and into that space. So that's one. Two, going to build a fan. Three, four, five, and six. Now into this next space, skip that cluster, and in there you're going to put a double crochet down into there. It's going to bring your fan down. So next we're at the next V cluster and we're going to do a fan in there. Six treble crochets. One, two, three, four, Some more yarn out that little ball. So that was four, five, and six. Now into the space in between these cluster sets, into here you're going to do a double crochet. Then into the space in your V stitch, do a fan. Six treble crochets. One, Two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to do that all the way around. Into the space, do a double crochet. In between the V stitch, you're going to do a fan. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Into the space, do a double crochet. Then in between the V, you'll do a fan. Then into that space there you'll do a double crochet. In between the V you'll do a fan. That's six UK treble crochets or six double crochets if you're in the USA. And you'll do that all the way around. And this is what it does. It creates that lovely little ruffle around the edge. So 
So I've got my last fan done. And you remember we've done that double crochet right at the beginning. I'm going to slip stitch in to that double crochet. Just pull a little tight that one. Just pull through and slip stitch. Pull your stitch up. And you're going to cut your yarn, but make sure you leave enough to sew in. And I've still got all of that left. That's enough to make another one from that little scrap ball. And that is your little doily. Now, different yarns, I'll make them slightly different sizes. This one is slightly bigger, as you can see. It's not too much bigger. But that's done with, a, it's really bright that, isn't it? <laughs> that's done with a double knitting yarn, a DK yarn. You can use any yarns for this. You can use cotton. This this one is 100% cotton. You can use cotton. And that is that, yeah, I got that donated. Someone sent that to me in a Happy Mail. It crochets up so pretty, that so pretty and that is how you do these little doilies now all you need to do now is get a needle catch one of my needles close that off I've got my loop here I need to pull my yarn through that loop and that's just going to tighten that in Turn that over. Put my yarn through my darning needle. This one's a little bit on the big side. And I'm going to go down through the stitches. Just catch. I'm at the back of my doily. And then I'm going to take a few of the stitches in that fan and pull through. Now I'm going to skip a couple and go back and then I'm going to skip a few and go right through a loop some more of them up at the back and that is the best way if you skip a few of the stitches and just go back in on yourself that's the best way to hide the tail end and it won't come out when you wash them these are great for parties they're great for doing parties now this one in the middle is tighten in your middle and we're going to do the same I'm going to thread my yarn and through some of those stitches now we are at the back that's the front of our doily we're at the back I don't come right through I haven't gone right through and then I'm going to work skip a few of the stitches and just work back a little bit go back further than where we started and then work back again skip a few of the stitches that's going, that's going to help anchor it in. Then cut that off. And that's it. And that's has got a little doily to sit your cup of coffee on. Look at that. Brilliant. I'll put that to the side. My coffee's going cold. <laughs> I'll put that back over there. But that is how you make these little doilies. I've still got my ends to sew in. These are brilliant for parties. They're brilliant for little party doilies. And look at those, even that bright, bright orange one. They're great for putting down on your table if you're having a party. So I just need to sew all my ends in. And, and that is it. That is how you make these doilies. And you can see the difference in sizes from using cotton and from using that. This is a three-ply, I think. It's 100% acrylic. 
it doesn't tell you it's a hundred grams it doesn't see whether it's it's a little bit thinner than double knitting but then you've got your double knitting here that's a little bit thicker that's your DK and then I've got these ones are done with the cotton these ones are done with the cotton and this one is done with that yarn and that one is done with this that's that little spare bowl that I had look that would make another one of those might even get two out of it it doesn't take much yarn at all to make these so you can make them up with all your scraps of yarn so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to the channel help me get up to a quarter of a million I need 250,000 subscribers and that will put me at a quarter of a million you don't get anything for it and you don't get paid for subscribers either it's free to subscribe to the channel and I don't get paid for having a lot of subscribers it just helps my videos to get seen a little bit more if you have more people see that you have a big subscriber number and they're more likely to look at your videos and if you click on the bell icon YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial so give these a try I think they're brilliant give them a try it's really easy they're really quick try them in Christmas colors you can do some Christmas colors and I'll see you all again soon goodbye